Mothra is a recurrent and loved character in the Godzilla universe. She is divine and heroic and has appeared in various different forms, including the Monsterverse. She is also somewhat immortal because her eggs, which she summons to carry on her legacy, are pretty much her true incarnation that genetically retains her ancestors' memories. She is a kind kaiju who only attacks for defense. She has had more than 15 incarnations and we will discuss each of them today. In this video, we will cover each incarnation's origin and concisely discuss her abilities and story. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. First Gen Mothra the first generation of Mothra appeared in 1961 in the eponymous film Mothra as the guardian goddess of the infant island who is reborn through an egg and worshipped by the inhabitants. Two Shobijin fairies communicate with her telepathically and speak to humanity on her behalf. The Mothra vs Godzilla novelization proposed Mothra is a Japanese silkworm who evolved under abnormal weather changes. Mothra was inside the egg when the Shobijin were kidnapped and brought to Tokyo. She hatched and reached Tokyo as a larva, then cocooned herself and emerged as Mothra in her imago form. She then resurrected the show region and returned to the island. Mothra is able to fly, spit silk, generate hurricane winds that cause shockwaves, grapple with her claws, and release the yellow poison powder from her wings. Shobijins call her immortal since she lives on through asexual reproduction. Second Gen Mothra The second generation Mothra first appeared in the 1964 Mothra vs Godzilla film as a twin larva. She's the daughter of the original Mothra from 1961 and is worshipped as the guardian goddess of Infant Island after her mother and sister's death. First Mothra had died in a battle with Godzilla to protect her egg, after which her egg hatched and birthed two larvae who followed Godzilla to Iwa Island and then fought him. They trapped Godzilla in silk and plummeted him into the sea then returned to Infant Island. She later appears as a larva in Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, to fight Ghidorah alongside Godzilla and Rodan, and then in Eberra, Horror of the Deep film as the grown Mothra to protect her people from the Red Bamboo terrorist group. She can also spit incredibly strong silk and use her mandibles for bite attacks in the larval form. Her imago form could easily knock Godzilla with her strength. Third Gen Mothra The third generation of Mothra appears in the 1968 film titled Destroy All Monsters. Her origin and relation to the previous generations remain a mystery. The Shubijins were also not seen, and the only clear information about her is that she was living on Monsterland near the end of the 20th century. The Kilark aliens took her under their control along with the other kaijus when they invaded Monsterland. She was released in Beijing to cause immense ruin. She later appeared in Tokyo with Godzilla, Rodan, and Manda to destroy the city. When Kilarks lost their mind control and released King Ghidorah as their ace weapon, Mothra was present on Mount Fuji for the final battle but didn't participate in it. Instead, she later helped Kumonga cover the defeated Ghidorah's body in silk. Her only seen abilities are the spraying of silk and her gigantic size that causes destruction. GVM Mothra GVM is the acronym for Godzilla vs Mothra film in which the Mothra first appeared in 1992. She was the guardian of an advanced civilization in an ancient world over 12,000 years ago. When the actions of the civilization's scientists led to the birth of Batra, Mothra's dark counterpart who went on to completely eradicate humanity, Mothra battled and defeated him. She sealed him in the North Sea and afterward, she retired to Infant Island with the Cosmos, the only two remnants of the civilization. Mothra had an egg that the Cosmos allowed to be transported to Japan in 1993. The transportation was interrupted by Godzilla and Batra after which the egg hatched and Mothra escaped back to her island. Later, the cosmos was abducted, so Mothra had to travel to Tokyo. After a successful rescue, Mothra cocooned and took the imago form. She flew to Yokohama to fight Batra, but the two allied when Godzilla appeared. Together, they defeated Godzilla. 
This Mothra also spits silk and bites with her mandibles. The Imago form shoots twin orange-colored ultrasonic beams from her antenna, and her wings release arcs of electricity. She also released shiny scales that form a mirror around the target and reflect beam attacks. Batra. As mentioned, Batra appeared in the 1992 Godzilla vs. Mothra film, when the ancient civilization that lived 12,000 years ago created a climate-controlling device. Earth became full of wrath and gave birth to a Mothra-like creature to protect the Earth. This was Batra. His sole purpose was to destroy the climate-controlling device, in which he succeeded. But his dark intentions grew, and he began to eradicate humanity. Mothra fought Batra and sealed him in the North Sea. Batra was awakened when a huge meteor struck the Earth in 1993. Batra continued his actions against humanity and attacked Nagoya as a lava. He soon had a battle with Godzilla and eventually fell into a volcanic fault. When he re-emerged, he had mutated into his Imago form. He then traveled to Yokohama and fought Mothra. When Godzilla also showed up, he teamed up with Mothra to fight a common foe and managed to gain victory together. Batra helped Mothra carry Godzilla. But Godzilla was still conscious and killed Batra. Unable to bear the weight, Mothra dropped Batra's dead body along with Godzilla into the ocean. Larval Batra has a yellow horn that shoots orange electrical prism beams. His eyes also shoot purple prism beams. The larva can also burrow. The imago form can fly and has three horns that shoot optic prism beams. Fairy Mothra Fairy Mothra first appeared in the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla film in 1994. She is the telepathic projection of the GVM Mothra. Mothra had gone to space to save Earth from the prophesied meteor. In 1995, Mothra became aware of the Space Godzilla, an evil extraterrestrial counterpart of Godzilla, heading towards the Earth to conquer it. Mothra created her telepathic projection and sent it to Earth to warn about Space Godzilla. This was Fairy Mothra. Fairy Mothra took the form of the cosmos and informed Mickey Saigusa about the impending danger and then disappeared. Fairy Mothra then appeared to thank Mickey after Space Godzilla had been defeated. Fairy Mothra then also appeared in the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy. In the first film of the trilogy, Fairy Mothra was summoned by two fairies, namely Mol and Laura. Fairy Mothra helped the fairies in their various endeavors in the events of the trilogy, such as fighting the Garu Garu dragon to retain the seal of Elias, carrying Mole and Laura to different locations and in chase sequences. Her last appearance was in 1998 in Rebirth of Mothra 3, when she communicated with Mothra Leo after Mole had died. Fairy Mothra can fly as well as teleport. She can also shapeshift and her antennas shoot beams. She can also scan things to find life form essence. Rom Mothra Rom refers to the first Rebirth of Mothra film. This Mothra first appeared in this movie in 1996. She belongs to the species of giant moths who in ancient times defended the Earth from a space monster called Desgadora. This species also protected the Elias race who inhabited the Earth. Mothra is the last surviving member who has been living with her Elias priestesses Laura and Mole on Infant Island. When she reached old age, she summoned an egg to continue her species. Elias' race had perished except Laura, Mole, and one evil Elias named Belvera. Mothra had also reached old age and become more frail after summoning the egg. When Desgadora reawakened, Belvera took control of him and decided to end humanity. Mothra was called to fight them, but she couldn't defeat them despite her dedicated efforts. Mothra's egg prematurely hatched to birth Mothra Leo, who then helped her mother in the fight. Mothra destroyed a dam that buried Desgadora in flood, but she also fell into the water and drowned, leaving Leo behind to carry on the fight and her legacy. Her antenna could shoot the twin beam pulsar and also launch a small milky whip. Her claws could do the stun trigger attack that released high voltage current and caused explosions. With direct attack, she released energy to escape bite attacks. She could also fly at a great speed for three seconds with flash dash and generate a pressure field with scales released from her wings that caused lightning strikes. Mothra Leo Mothra Leo also first appeared in the rebirth of Mothra as the son of the old Mothra. 
When old Mothra reached her old age, she released multicolored particles from her body which formed an egg, and later, Mothra Leo hatched from it to carry on her legacy. He fought Desgadora as a lava, but was outmatched. His mother saved him, but she herself died during the course. Afterward, Leo cocooned himself and took the Imago form to avenge his mother. He fought Desgadora and bagged a win by sealing Desgadora in his tomb. He later also appeared in the Godzilla Island TV series to fight Hedora with Godzilla. Larval Mothra Leo's mouth sprays electrical aftershock causing XL strings, and his chest shoots energy with a petite railgun. He can also create his fake reflection. His imago form can fly and reach great speeds with Excel Dash. His forehead gems shoot crosshead lasers, and his chest has a blue breast power beam. He can also create an Excel shining field of energy, and his smaller version with Illusion Mirage. Sparkling pile load projects electrical arcs from his wings, and he serves the final blow with a Shine Strike Buster. Leo can also speedily grow plants with his Pulsophonic Shower. In the second and third films of the Rebirth of Mothra trilogy, Leo took five distinct forms, which we now discuss separately. Rainbow Mothra In the events of the Rebirth of Mothra 2, the Dagara monster created by the Nilai Kanai civilization was wrecking havoc. Hence, Mothra Leo was summoned to defeat him, but he faced some serious setbacks in the fight. Mole and Laura's human ally presented Gogo to Leo. Gogo was a little artificial creature created by the Nilai Kanai. Gogo glowed and floated above Leo, transferring his life into Leo, which turned Leo into Rainbow Mothra. Rainbow Mothra outpowered Dagara and chased him away into the water. Rainbow Mothra used amplified versions of Mothra Leo's abilities, like the Cross Heat Laser Rainbow and Mineral Chest Cannon, Sparkling Pile Load Rainbow, and Excel Shining Field Rainbow. He can also create an invisible barrier with pressure field to detect beam attacks and release energy bolts by spinning with the arrow buster attack. Aqua Mothra In the continuity of Rebirth of Mothra 2, when Dagara had retreated into the water, Rainbow Mothra followed him above the water. Dagara kept attacking from under the water, but Rainbow Mothra couldn't traverse in the water, so he transformed into Aqua Mothra and dived into the water. Aqua Mothra could propel himself in the water and use his beams also. He then defeated Dagara and carried him outside the water. Aqua Mothra transformed back into Rainbow Mothra and set Dagara ablaze on the pyramid. Aqua Mothra can fly and swim. He also uses the Aqua version of Mothra Leo's ability, like Cross Heat Laser Aqua, the Illusion Mirage Aqua. He can also use the Pressure Field. Additionally, his antenna can shoot the Crescent Dash Beams, and his mouth shoots the X Thunder Beam that generates in his wings. He also used the Space Miracle Force Beam to lift Dagara out of water. The next three versions of Leo Mothra have all appeared in the Rebirth of Mothra 3 film. Lightspeed Mothra King Ghidorah had kidnapped many children, and Rainbow Mothra was fighting him on Mount Fiji to rescue the children. King Ghidorah managed to nearly kill Mothra. Hence, Mothra decided to travel back in time and defeat Ghidorah's younger form as the last resort. With all her strength, Mol sang to power Mothra. Rainbow Mothra transformed into Aqua Mothra and then fully into Lightspeed Mothra, who traveled to the Crustaceous period and attacked the younger Ghidorah. Those attacks also affected the older King Ghidorah in the current era. Mothra defeated the younger Ghidorah, and the older Ghidorah also vanished. The major abilities of Lightspeed Mothra are that he can travel at sub-light speeds and through time. He can also transform back into Rainbow Mothra. Armor Mothra when Mothra had defeated the crustaceous King Ghidorah, three primitive Mothra lava appeared and cocooned Mothra. Mothra remained cocooned till the period from whence he had traveled back in time. Meanwhile, King Ghidorah had reappeared in the current era. Mothra broke his cocoon and emerged in a more powerful form. This was Arma Mothra. Arma Mothra was unmoved by the gravity beams and managed to defeat King Ghidorah. Arma Mothra can fly and use the Arma Cross Heat Laser. He is also much stronger than the rainbow form. His armor wings are razor sharp and act as a cutter. 
he can also energize himself and fly straight through an opponent, which causes the opponent to crystallize and then burst. Eternal Mothra After Armor Mothra had defeated King Ghidorah, he shed his armor and became Eternal Mothra. With his powers combined with the Sword of Elias, he revived Mole, who had died to transform Mothra into Lightspeed Mothra. He afterward returned to Infant Island. Only two abilities of Eternal Mothra were seen, which are Flight and Sulfonic Power to Restore Life. Primitive Mothra As stated earlier, Primitive Mothra appeared in the Rebirth of Mothra 3 film when Lightspeed Mothra had traveled back in time to fight Ghidorah. They spun Mothra into a cocoon, which transformed him into Armor Mothra. Besides this, Primitive Mothras have no other appearance. They've only appeared in the lava form, and their only seen abilities are traveling on land and spraying silk from their mouth. GMK Mothra GMK Mothra appeared in 2001 in the Godzilla, Mothra and King Ghidorah giant monsters all-out attack film. This Mothra is also one of the guardian monsters with Baragon and King Ghidorah. Mothra inhabited ancient Japan and was slain by warriors, then laid to rest in Lake Ikeda. Years later, the souls of these warriors were transferred into Mothra to reawaken her for defending Japan from Godzilla. Mothra was reawakened in 2002. She flew to Yokohama to fight Godzilla after Baragon's defeat. Soon, Ghidorah also arrived to help in the fight, but Godzilla overpowered them. Godzilla vaporized Mothra with his atomic breath, but Mothra's life energy flew into Ghidorah. Eventually, Ghidorah was also killed, and all the spirits including Mothra's flew into Godzilla and finally defeated him. GMK Mothra can spit silk to build a cocoon and take the Imago form to fly. She fights with her claws and poison stingers. She is also amphibious and can transfer her energy into others. SOS Mothra SOS refers to 2003 Godzilla Tokyo SOS films, in which she appeared. She is the descendant of the first gen Mothra from 1961 and lives on Infant Island with the Shobi Jin. She traveled to Japan in 2004 when she became aware of Kiryu. Kiryu was built to defend against a second Godzilla, but Mothra deemed Kiryu as an immoral construction. The Shobi Jin promised that Mothra would defend against the second Godzilla instead, but her plans were unheeded. She nevertheless fought Godzilla and her two larva and Kiryu also appeared to help. Mothra died in the battle in an attempt to protect her larva. This Mothra is also amphibious and spits silk. She can generate hurricane winds with her wings and use her claws for attacks. Her ultimate attack is a cloud of golden scales released from her wings. Mothra Final Wars this is the 2004 incarnation of Mothra from the Godzilla Final Wars film. She is also an ancient guardian of the Earth and lives on Infant Island with the Shobijin. This incarnation had fought Gigan thousands of years ago and defeated him. In the year 20XX, Gigan's mummified body was recovered by the EDF. The Shobijin was sent to warn about Gigan, and Mothra would defend them in case Gigan awakens. The Exilians took control over Gigan. Thus, Mothra flew to Tokyo to assist Godzilla in his fight against Monster X and Gigan. Mothra bravely fought Gigan and defeated him at the cost of her life. This Mothra can release poisonous yellow scales with her wings. She knocks her opponents with the bomber Larian move. Lastly, Ignited Mothra, often called Fire Mothra, caused a fiery explosion with a fire heart attack. Mothra, Godzilla Anime Trilogy Anime Mothra appears in the 2018 Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle anime film and later indirectly in the sequel. She lived in the Amazon rainforest with a human tribe and had two eggs which she permitted to send to Japan to defeat mankind there. Godzilla interrupted the transport and Mothra died in the battle to defend her eggs. Luckily, the eggs safely reached Japan and hatched. They went to fight Godzilla but were killed. One of the carcasses created a crater and left an egg behind, which was then worshipped by the Hu Tao people who had accompanied the initial eggs to Japan. The twin priestesses, Maina and Miana, tended to the egg and telepathically communicated with it. 
In Godzilla the Plant Eater, Mothra's egg was used to telepathically reach Haroa and free him from Metphis' control to stop Ghidorah from destroying Earth. Mothra was seen flying in Haroa's vision. Mothra's wings can generate the golden defensive scales that reflect enemy attacks and heal wounds. This Mothra can also fly and create silk. She also has telepathic ability to communicate with her people. With this power, she can also present herself to others in visions. MV Mothra Monsterverse Mothra first appeared in 2017 as a cave painting in Kong Skull Island. She then appears in 2019 in the Godzilla King of the Monsters. She belongs to a species of giant moths who were worshipped as divine deities in ancient times. She has a symbiotic relationship with Godzilla, and together, they had fought King Ghidorah in the past. Her egg was found in 2009 in a Chinese temple by Monarch. The egg hatched in 2019 and cocooned herself to take the imago form. Mothra then helped Monarch reach Godzilla's lair to revive him and then fight King Ghidorah. The two fought Ghidorah once again, but Ghidorah summoned Rodan. Mothra then fought Rodan and defeated him with her stinger. Mothra quickly approached the injured Godzilla, but Ghidorah shot her with his gravity beam. Mothra sacrificed herself to defend Godzilla, and her energy flew into Godzilla which empowered him to finally defeat Ghidorah. MV Mothra, besides flight and silk attacks, has god rays, which are concentrated beams of beta wave bioluminescence from her wings. She is also immortal because of her egg, and has a psychic connection with the twins in her temple. She can also attack with her claws and stinger and her symbiotic relationship with Godzilla is especially useful. Her larval form also has thermal vision. Mothra, Godzilla Singular Point Godzilla Singular Point is an anime series, and Mothra appeared in it in the 12th episode as a group of moth kaiju. The swarm of Mothras appeared in Tokyo and they were speculated to be silk moths of the Anthera Yamamai species, but their colours were different from the mentioned species, so their true species remained uncertain. It was also not confirmed whether they emerged from the singular point. In the episode, a Mothra was seen landing on Jet Jaguar's hand, and soon a swarm arrived. Goro Otaki saw these yellow butterflies as a bad omen bringing warfare. Based on the account in the Azuma Kagami Historical Chronicle, their appearance foreshadowed the future confrontation with Godzilla. The only seen ability of this Mothra was flight. Marvelous Verdict no one can hate this divine kaiju with a heart of gold. All their incarnations are interesting, and his different forms are especially awesome. Also, all her incarnations except Mothra Leo are specified as females. Mothra's dedication to saving humanity and her people, and her act of sacrifice easily makes her a beloved character of the franchise. She is rightfully the queen of the monsters. What do you love about Mothra, and which was your favorite incarnation? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave and like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you, everyone.